Morning. Uh, Paul here, Bearded Badger Publishing and Books in beautiful Belpura in Derbyshire where the sun is shining today. Oh, that's nice. Um, welcome to the Friday feature. If you're not familiar with the Friday feature, come on in, pull up a pew. Um, it's just me talking about books really and about what's going on in the publishing company, a um, few bits of info and a bit of a waffle. So um, yeah, get comfy, get your brew made and we shall crack on. So what's going on? So firstly, thanks to everybody that pre-ordered a copy of The Art of Escapology by Nicola Ashbrook. Um, yeah, I can't tell you how much it means to me and the, you know, it's such a help to us um, up front with, with costs, which are, as you know, like everything, it's all going up, isn't it? So um, it's a real, real help to us. I can't tell you how much. Um, if you haven't ordered it and you fancy a copy, um, go and have a look. It's on beardedbadgerpublishing.com. If you look on the shop for books bit, you'll find it there, um, where you'll also find all of our other books. So um, Flamingo, uh, Step Forward Harry Sword by Ross Lowe, which is mint. You need to, that's a great read. That's really good reviews for that. Um, and all our poetry chat books as well, which are fantastic and, and a great range of poets there, all with a link to, to our region here in the East Midlands. So, um, yeah, there's some real gems amongst them as well. So please have a look at them. Um, they're only a fiver as well. What can you get for a fiver these days? Bloody hell, I think I paid 4 40 for a pint of Guinness last night. Anyway, I'm waffling again, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so thanks if you have ordered a copy. If you fancy ordering a copy, please go and have a look. And um, uh, honestly, it means means so much to us. So what else is going on? Well, tomorrow, um, Saturday, we will be at Dubrex Studios on Bridge Street in Derby from 10 till about 3-ish, um, doing a bit of a pop-up bookshop. So we'll have our, all of our books, obviously. But we're going to have um, a really good range of books from across the indie presses. So uh, we've got Blue Moose in there. We've got Charco Press. We've got Dead Ink. We've got Influx. We've got... Um, Pierine, we've got Tilted Axis, we've got all, all Galley Beggar, we've got all the, all the good guys are in there, you know. So, um, yeah, come along, have a look, have a have a browse, have a, come and have a chinwag, and um, hopefully I look forward to seeing a few faces down there. It's a great venue as well. You can grab a coffee or a beer or a glass of wine, whatever. Um, it's five o'clock somewhere, isn't it, you know. Um, but, yeah, come along. It's a great venue, recording studio, rehearsal studio. But it's got a lovely, lovely cafe space downstairs where, you know, it's it's just, I'm looking forward to it. So, um, yeah, come along. Ten till three tomorrow. So, um, what what am I reading? Well, I finished the book of Gales, James Yorkston, which, if you've not read that, um, it's Old Castle Books, I think. 9.99, I think. Um, fantastic. Really, really enjoyed that. And, um the, it, it, it's such a there's there's bits that are bleak there's bits that are warming there's bits that are dead funny as well so it's a real it's a proper mixed bag in terms of you know you couldn't pigeonhole it in a in a, a particular genre but it's a just great great story writing to be honest and i'm, I'm all about that uh, i did say i was going to get on industry of magic and light but i haven't and the, the reason for that is that i just haven't had time to be honest and i think with any david keenan book You've got to give yourself a little bit of space and time to read it. I think because they're such, they're like it's like a beautiful, a beautiful smoky peaty whiskey. You just want to take your time with it. You don't want to rush in. <laughs> Probably romanticising a little bit there, but so I haven't got onto that yet. But I hope to when I've got a bit more breathing space, head space with work and other things. So, but I won't bore you with that. Um, I've also picked up a couple of other books this week, which I'll show you for no other reason than why not. Um, this one, Spaceships Over Glasgow by the wonderful Stuart Braithwaite, who is the uh, the brain and brawns behind the genius Mogwai. Um, huge fan. And so really look forward to getting on that. Another one from our friends at White Rabbit Books. I can't remember which you paid for that one now. 20 quid that one. So um, looking forward to reading that. Um, and I think some of, the, some of the indie bookshops have got a special version, which I'm not sure if it's out yet. I read somewhere that it was delayed slightly. So... Um, but the, the standard hardback, which is the, what I've got there, that's out. So, but I think there's, um, I think Rough Trade are doing a, a special edition, one to other places. So, um, yeah, have a look at that. It sounds brilliant. I read a few reviews for it, and being a huge Mogwai fan, I think I'd probably buy a shopping list if they wrote it. So, um, yeah, get on that one. The other book, are, a couple of books I've bought this week are this one, Wayne Holloway, Our Struggle. Um, I read Wayne's previous book, Being Instead. And thought it was brilliant. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that for a couple of reasons. One is 
my good friend uh, Stu Hennigan has recommended it and he rarely goes wrong with recommendations and the other one is I'm going to hopefully get up to Manchester where Stu is doing a little talk with Wayne um, I, I think it's in November I can't remember the date now off the top of my head but um, it's at Blackwell's in Manchester so if you either look on Stu's feed or Blackwell's you'll find it there or, or Wayne's even um, so yeah looking forward to that so I'll go read the book before I go up to that and the other one I bought was this one which is Cold Fish Soup by Adam Farah, Farah, and that one's by um, Saraband. Sorry, this this one's Influx, Influx Press. Sorry, um, which I picked up yesterday from uh, Book in Arnold in Nottingham. So I went over and seen the lovely Tim there, um, drop off some of our Beardy Badger titles in preparation for National Book Day, store day tomorrow, bookshop day. Um, so. A big shout out actually to our independent bookshop. So I'm going to give a quick shout out to the ones that are close to me here. So obviously Book in Arnold, Nottingham, um, who they stock all of our books. Our Dormouse books here in Belper. So go and see the lovely Stephanie there. They've got our books there too. Um, you've got Scarfing Books in Cromford, which is one of the most picturesque bookshop. And such a quirky little bookshop. You'll find some of our books in there too. And Five Leaves over in Nottingham. Um, go and see Ross there and the, the guys there. Great little bookshop. Um, just off the Market Square, you have to go down this little kind of alley. Uh, and you'll see down there, great bookshop. So, um, and I'm sorry if I've missed any of Yeah, and of course you've got Waterstones in Derby as well. I'll give them a shout out. It's not that they need it, but go on. Um, so, yeah. I hope they all have a, a, a cracking day and the tills ring loud tomorrow for national bookshop day or bookstore day never remember which one it is don't really matter does it um so yeah that's that so what else should we have a waffle on about today then so oh congratulations to annie erno um who has won the nobel prize f yes it was yesterday was it no so god the day before um if you've not read any of annie erno's books um I recommend you do. I read The Years recently, which is fantastic, and she's just such a great writer. Um, and f you'll get those from Fitzcarraldo. So go and have a visit to Fitzcarraldo's website and pick them up on there. Um, like most Fitzcarraldo stuff, it's brilliant. So you, you, you're, you're taking no gambles there. It's just a dead cert winner. Um, another one that I've got to read, actually, and I'm going to give a little talk about this one, is... Um, the brilliant Heidi James called Field Notes, and it's um, and if you've not read Heidi's The Sound Mirror, oh, you need to get on that. You've missed out if you've not read that yet. Blue Moose books, get on it. So this one though, it's a it's a series. There's a there's a few of them. Um, little chat books, four fifty I think they are, put together by a small press called Seventy Seventy Two One Seventy Two One. Yeah, 72 one, which is by a fellow called Andrew Leach, who I met at um, the Northern Publishing Alliance Fair in Leeds earlier this year. Lovely chap. Um, we had a proper good old natter about books. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. These are great, I think. You're getting such great writing for four and a half quid. I paid 4 40 for a Guinness last night, and it was gone in 15 minutes. I bet you that lasts a lot longer. Up there, anyway. So, um, yeah, get on that one. What else? Um, whilst we're on the subject of uh, Influx Press, like we were earlier, a <laughs> bit of a tangent there, congrats on um, the trees making the uh, Booker shortlist. Um, if you've not read any Percival Everett, and, and you know, massive, massive hats off to the Influx guys for uh, publishing Percival Everett. I first read, read the first book they put out by him, which was I Am Not Sidney Poitier, and I've read everything since. Um, and they're, they're all brilliant. I mean, Poitier is such a good book. But The Trees, oh my God, what a book that is. Um, and it, it, it does that inverting of stereotypes that it just makes it even more ridiculous than it really is. And I shall be backing that one to win the book, yeah, which um, probably means it won't, sorry. Um, I don't have a great record on that, so sorry, Influx. But it's a great book. Go, go get a copy of that. You won't regret that. And we'll have a couple of copies of that on... Um, on a pop-up tomorrow as we will as i say from across a whole raft of um indie publishers and we've got a couple, we'll have a copy of that as well so uh, yeah we've got quite a, quite a, a range of stuff i'm out of breath now 
so um, that's a good waffle in it for a Friday so um, yeah if you can pre-order our book Nicola Ashbrook The Art of Escapology please do so um, if you can get down to Derby Bridge Street Dubrex Studios tomorrow 10 till 3 ish come and say hello have a brew um, if not I'll see you next Friday I suppose for a bit more Friday featuring take care have a good weekend folks <laughs>